Hi everyone, welcome to a new devlog. In this episode, since my progress this week has been only about UI, and I feel that's the only thing I have been talking about lately, I would like to share my process behind the creation of the Howling Tales story, along with some tips and resources. So let's get started. Howling Tales is a game inspired by the storytelling of Last of Us, in a small open world with some RPG ingredients. Ever since I was a kid, I've always loved writing. I remember one of my favorite homework assignments was when in language class they made us write a story. Last year I was for six months in the selection process for the position of UI designer at Naughty Dog. I went through all the art tests and interviews until the final one, in which unfortunately I was not chosen. If you want to learn more about it, I wrote a post on Reddit which went quite viral. I'll leave the link in the description. Thanks to that experience, I had time to do a lot of research about Naughty Dog and all the development behind their games, both creatively and technically. That inspired me to revisit a story I wrote five years ago and create the game I'm currently working on. Hole in Tales is the story of a boy who is forced to embark on an adventure to save his grandmother, the only family member that he has left. In this adventure, he will discover the course he was born with, his true identity, and the reality of a world he has never known before. A story in which nothing is what it seems. But how do we get there? Writing is not an easy task. For that reason, I would like to share some resources that have worked very well for me. The first resource is a book called Video Game Storytelling. The book is divided into two sections. The first one could be considered as the fundamental theory of creative storytelling, where they explain how to create and develop our stories, characters, and worlds. The second part is more specific to the world of video games and focuses more on the specific roles we would take if we were working in a studio. Although the book is very interesting and very well written, for me the first section is the most important as it gives you the basics of how to write a good story from start to finish, and how to add essential ingredients to make that story entertaining. I'll leave the link to the Amazon page in case you want to take a look. If you like storytelling, I really recommend it. My other resource is a free Pixar course called The Art of Storytelling. I'll leave the link in the description. For me, this course is a must because they explain the process of how to explain the stories in a visual way something that movies and video games have in common. This course helped me a lot to find alternative ways to explain the story without making the player read huge paragraphs of text. The biggest challenge in this kind of video game is to find the balance between gameplay and storytelling. According to the book, the priority in how we explain our stories is always first through gameplay. If that is not possible, then through cutscenes, animations, or even interactive dialogues, and only as a last resource text. If we weigh it carefully, nobody reads anymore. Everything we consume is visual. Every story starts with an idea, and the hardest thing is to have that idea. If you don't have that idea yet, I would recommend you to look for inspiration in books, movies, and video games of the themes that you like but in that order. Reading is a good exercise to develop our imagination. When we read, our imagination fills in the gaps creating worlds and characters. And when our brain is used to doing that, we can do the opposite exercise of imagining and capturing it in a text, sketch, or whatever. In my case, my inspiration comes from Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, even Game of Thrones. To video games like Monkey Island, Day of the Tentacle, Diablo, Uncharted, Last of Us, or God of War. If you already have your idea, the two resources I have recommended will help you to develop it further. The development of our stories is not easy. Pixar explained how some parts of the story have been rewritten up to 30 times, so don't be discouraged if your story is not amazing in the first or second attempt. As I said, my initial story was conceived five years ago. But even so, I have been working on it on off for almost six months and I'm sure when I start to put it in game, I will keep refining it. For me, writing the story before jumping into the game engine is very important, because the story is the one that will define the environments of our video game, the vegetation, the architecture, the time, the main characters, the NPCs, the enemies, and most importantly, the relationships between all of them, 
socially and economically. When you develop a video game based on a story, everything has a reason and everything is more cohesive. In my first video game, I made the mistake of creating the story around a mechanic that I found interesting. By doing that, you force the story to fit in parts that you already have developed. And that, in the end, feels very artificial and unnatural. My advice would be to invest the first months of development only in research, write the story, and in parallel, the GDD. To write my GDD, I used Mylanot. It's a free application developed to help game devs, with which you can create all kinds of documents. I like it very much because it allows me to write my GDD in a very visual way, instead of having a Word document of hundreds of pages. I'll leave the link in the description in case you are interested. Finally, let's imagine that for whatever reason, despite having good ideas, you don't like to write or don't have the time. You can always go to the figure of the Ghost Rider. In Fiverr and other freelancing platforms, there are many people who offer this service and for not much money, they can help you to develop that story you have in mind. So unleash your imagination and create amazing stories. Please let me know in the comments if you are creating a story-driven video game as well. I would love to take a look. This is a little different from the usual content, but I thought it would be interesting to share with you some things that have been very helpful to me. As always, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like the video and subscribe, and leave your comments if you have any questions or suggestions. Thanks so much for watching and have a great week.